So yeah, uh, thank you everyone for, for waiting. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, I was a uh, few minutes uh, late uh, because I wasn't uh, expecting it as uh, one hour earlier. Uh, here in Oslo, Norway, it's it's six in the evening, uh, five in the evening, sorry. Actually, it's 5.20-ish, 15-ish. Uh, yeah, I thought my, my, my uh, workshop is still uh, at 6 p.m. But yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, uh, thank you, Aro, for, for introducing me. Uh, thank you, all things, for, for this opportunity to, you know, for me to share this uh, uh, Terraform uh, uh, infrastructure uh, uh, as code, you know, uh, share it with, with uh, the community, like for, for everyone. And yeah, let, let's start. So automating your infrastructure deployments in the uh, Google Cloud, Azure AWS with Terraform, and we also uh, include Auth0 here. Anyway, so let's move to the next slide. Uh, okay, so infrastructure as code, which is sometimes called uh, IAC, uses automation to manage infrastructure. For example, uh, instead of configuring your servers uh, one at a time, you use a tool to configure all of them at once. You express uh, the inf infrastructure you need for your application as code, uh, such as a co configuration uh, file or a script. Does it move? Uh, yeah, there's delay though. So what uh, infrastructure as code can do is eliminate manual error prone provisioning and changes. That's one, uh, bring software best practices to uh, infrastructure management. What else? Uh, gain visibility of changes through code reviews and uh, previews. Okay, so why infrastructure as code? Uh, you can, you know, automate things and in a repeatable way, uh, decrease time to market. That's that's good, you know, um, for new applications and uh, ongoing maintenance. And you also get these safe, predictable changes. So, in short, increase speed, reduce risk, reduce costs, leverage uh, developer best practices. Terraform uh, in itself is an open source IAC tool by HashiCorp written in the, the Go language. You know, the Go code is compiled into a single binary. This binary is used to deploy uh, infrastructure or build uh, a server using just, just a shell. And the Terraform binary uh, makes API calls to Google Cloud, uh, AWS, uh, what else? OpenStack, et cetera, uh, thanks to the Terraform providers maintained by the community. And here's a sample of, of Terraform code. Uh, you have blocks here. And we'll, uh, we'll dig into this uh, more later. For example, here is a block of code. What else? Block names such as uh, a variable, resource, and resource, and as you can see, it's uh, the the name uh, is self-explanatory. You have Google Compute here, network, and then this part here is just a way so you can reference to this. Well, in, in here in example, this is example, and uh, yeah, this is just a, a sample, and uh, like I said. Uh, We'll try this out later and see it in, in using uh, an editor VS Code. So here you can also do some uh, conditional expressions. Uh, for example, if a var, you know, a here, var a, uh, it's an empty string, then the result is a default a, but otherwise it is the actual value of var a. And can also do some some function uh, calls here. Uh, for example, the min function here you know, takes uh, uh, the amount here of a number of arguments and return the one that is uh, numerically uh, uh, smallest. And for uh, 
for expressions or looping here. For example, if, if a var list, you say here is a list of objects that all have an attribute ID, then uh, a list of the IDs could be produced with this expression. So just like other programming language, you know, con those uh, conditional expressions, function calls, and, and for each or for loop. And how to use this uh, Terraform? So you need in CLI. You need to install a, a CLI from a uh, HashiCorp website. Uh, there's, uh, there are many ways of installing the, the Terraform CLI. Uh, you can use Choco if you're using Windows. You can also use uh, Brew if you're on Mac OS. And uh, if you're using Linux, yeah, there's a curl that will automatically uh, install it for you. And then, uh, well, after writing a file, uh, a Terraform file, this is how you use the, the CLI. There's a Terraform in it here. Uh, it will initialize your Terraform folder or your, your let's say your, your project. Um, and it will bring all the necessary uh, uh, tools for you, like from the uh, provider, let's say AWS or GCP. So you can it can read your your code and do some some uh, uh, checking, you know, or planning. You will see that in a bit. What else? Oh, uh, you can also do this uh, or write this Terraform validate which will validate your syntax, the syntax of your uh, uh, Terraform file. So yeah, you can, you can check it here. Oh, what else? Terraform plan. So plan is uh, just seeing what resources, you know, your, your cloud provider will create for you. For example, if you write there uh, some VPCs and, and, uh, uh, EC2 or VMs, um, you'll see it there. You'll see it in a bit after this, in during the demo. So that's for the plan. It will tell you what exactly what's gonna happen in your account. And then Terraform apply. Hmm. Apply meaning, uh, apply, yeah, apply the, this, this plan. Uh, do it, you're just telling the, the Terraform, just do it, create it for me, uh, create those, those resources for me deploy everything. And you'll also see here, this uh, dash auto approve. I make it um, uh, dark gray here, light gray, because this is just an option. Because if you uh, run this Terraform apply, you'll, you'll get a prompt, you know, you'll get a prompt, like it's gonna tell you, it's gonna ask you, are you sure about this, that you want to do this? So, uh, you know, just to, to remove the, that kind of prompt and go straight to uh, creating the, the resources. Um, this is uh, a flag that you would use, auto approve. And then uh, don't forget to uh, Terraform destroy to run this command. If you're just playing around, this will uh, destroy or delete all the resources that you just, uh, that you just uh, created. So yeah, take note of that. Keep it in mind. Um, I already uh, fell for this, like uh, forgetting uh, to run this. I think I I'll, I'll, I paid twice for AWS after after uh, a month uh, without realizing uh, that my maybe I'm still running there or my load balancer. <laughs> so yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, so moving on, um, demo time. So this is a workshop. Uh, I'll do this first. Everything, this, this um, uh, slides like this uh, Terraform and theory, and, and then later on, in the second part of this, uh, I will let you do it yourself. You can choose which uh, cloud providers that you wanted to uh, to use. You can also use uh, Auth0 to try it. Here, let's open it up. And then, um, yeah, I'll be here to guide you here uh, after this so you can try it out uh, yourself. 
So uh, here's an example of, of uh, Terraform folder. So I have here for one for odd zero. Odd zero, by the way, is a, an identity uh, provider. So authentication provider also. Uh, yeah, we have GCP here, or Google Cloud Platform, AWS, and Azure. And this is also available uh, on my GitHub. Uh, so during, let's say, uh, uh, the workshop where you're trying it out, you can uh, yeah, see what I put here, and you can uh, just copy and paste, or uh, if you want, you know, you can also change some, some uh, uh, resources here if you already know what you're doing here, this part. Okay, so let's try this. Uh, it, so here's the provider I'm talking about. Uh, this is an example for Auth0. Uh, you need this uh, in, in order to, to bring the necessary tools for you to write this and, and uh, be able to tell uh, Terraform that these are the resources you need and Terraform will use it to send requests to uh, the APIs of Auth0. Here's an example. So resource, this is the uh, keyword here in Terraform. And this is the resource here. The second uh, uh, part here of this block of code is the resource. And then the third part here is the, the I would say ID or name or tag. So you can reference to uh, to this if you have another block here that needs the the value of this, let's say name, it needs also the enable or default from address, right? And what else? Name enable. So by the way, if you're also wanna gonna try this, there's a extension here that you can use. Because you might ask me, how would I know if uh, what kind of, of fields here or property should I should I type, right? So aside from looking at the docs in the website, uh, you can definitely yeah, install this, Terraform, yeah, actually this one. This is uh, the official Terraform uh, extension. So install that and you'll get this uh, IntelliSense here, which is gonna help you, for example, this one, ID. And uh, you, if you're also using a different, let's say ID, uh, Let's say IntelliJ or IDs from from uh, a JetBrains. They also have, you know, they also provide a plugin where you can uh, enter and then control space to see um, the available fields, you know, for this let's say particular uh, resource. So, how to write a, a block of code here in Terraform? A resource for a resource uh, have this um, field a property. And then an equal sign, not colon. It's not like a, a, a JSON object. And then if it's string, you would need to use this uh, quotation. And this type here, enabled, is a Boolean. Now you have this true or false, right? Default from address is string quotation and there's another block of code here, just like an object. So let's move here. Another one resource and then the, the type of resource, not zero, a template body and this body here, as you can see there's an HTML body and H1 welcome. This is um, will be used in the template of of email. So basically, we're creating a template email here that's uh, uh, gonna be used for uh, let's say email confirmation or something. Yep. 
And if you need to insert a function, you can also do a script here. For example, this one. And insert here a function inside this EOF. And here's the syntax. So let's try this. And open here, just Terraform in it. Terraform. Uh, first of all, let's open up here the dashboard. Um, APIs. This one. Template provider. So we know if uh, this is going to work. Welcome email. So this is the message, the original message. The plan is to override this. Okay, so uh, yeah. So Terraform in it. Make sure you're in the folder of Auth0. The following providers do not have any version trains. Yep. And then the plan, Terraform plan. And here it is. So if you're familiar with Git version control, uh, you'll know that green cross means it's gonna it's going to be uh, created for you. It's here. Um, it's going to create out your email with these credentials and this body from ID result URL subject syntax. So that's the plan. And then next uh, step is Terraform apply. So we're not gonna do the, uh, we're not gonna write the, the flag auto complete. So here's the prompt that I mentioned earlier. So Terraform will perform the actions described above. Only yes will be accepted. Yes. So yeah, so here, Play complete resources, three added, zero change, zero destroyed. And go back here, hopefully it's here. Refresh, email templates. Oh, maybe it's somewhere here. Welcome email. Yeah, here it is. So welcome Terraform and Auth0. Cool. And just to verify, here it is. Welcome to Terraform and Auth0. Neat. So you can try this later. Uh, you just need to create an account uh, in uh, Auth0. It's free. You don't have to uh, to put in any any credit card details. And yeah, and here you need to uh, um, to set up your APIs and applications. Actually, it's here in my README file. And just see this. Let's move it here. Oh, uh, save, no, 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 don't save, uh, yes, okay, that's okay. And here's the step 
you know how to do this uh, you can use this later in the uh, um, hands-on uh, part or you can do it yourself uh, and the link to this is on my github actually so let's go to my github and there are form demo here it is so yeah and the readme file is here so you're you're guided here just just follow the instruction um, also for the aws for the azure and for gcp okay so much for this odd zero uh let's move to the next uh, cloud provider uh, let's try um, Azure. What about Azure? But before that, and before we forget this, we uh, will try to delete this. So how to delete a resource? Terraform, destroy, and then the prompt. As you can see here, um, negative red or minus red, meaning it will be destroyed or deleted, right? You just enter yes, and then that's it. So there's also another way of deleting a resource, especially if you, you don't wanna delete all the resources of this uh, a file. So for now, let's let's cancel this. I just said no, no, cancel. So what if I delete this here or this part and this part here? What if you do that? Then um, Control S save. Let's see over here, Terraform plan. Just use plan, always use plan so you can see what's gonna happen before, you know, although there's a, a safe uh, fallback where the prompt um, will ask you yes or no. So yeah, it's also, uh, a way of how to delete a resource. As you can see here, plan is nothing to add, nothing to change, but there will, will be two resources uh, that will be deleted or destroyed. And here it is. Mm -hmm. So plan, plan, uh, Terraform plan before uh, a Terraform apply and then Terraform plan again before Terraform uh, destroy. So here's the plan. Uh, we run the plan, so nothing's gonna happen here. I mean, in the cloud, in your account, uh, nothing's changed yet until you um, Terraform up, uh, yeah, uh, destroy and then yes. Or apply. Sorry, so that's another way of deleting a resource, specific resource. When you apply, this will be applied, this delete here or destroyed. Anyways, uh, let's bring it back to original here. Plan again, and then we will destroy this through this. Terraform, destroy. Yes. Destroy complete resources, three destroyed. So as you can see, it's just like any other programming language or application, um, you code, you know, you, you code your resources and which one to provision. Um, and what's good about this, you can see here, there's a version control, you know? 
you can roll back to the previous code and you can, you know, you have a history of what's happening and yeah, you can, you can apply the, the best practices in, in, in software development or in, in, in coding here, we, uh, along with, with your colleagues or call developer teammates. Okay, so we already destroyed this. Let's move to Azure. Okay. So what are these um, outputs, providers, variables, versions, this? Well, actually they don't mean anything. I mean, yeah, this, this, these are just the name, a name, outputs, providers. Uh, all of these files will be compiled and translated and used by Terraform. So uh, you don't, you know, you're just naming this outputs. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, you can name it, I don't know, like uh, all things. Yeah, all things. What's important is this part here. I mean, the, 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 the code blocks that lives inside of these all things. You know why? This is the one that's gonna be translated and used by the Terraform. As a, a coding, um, not coding, uh, so best practice in, in Terraform or naming convention or file, uh, uh, file structure uh, convention, we use this, let's say outputs and then put all the output here. So what's this output? Output is uh, it's like a helper uh, for, for you, for, for anyone who's using uh, Terraform in a way that it will give you some details here in the CLI uh, once you created something. Example, this one, uh, the name of app service is a description of your output app service, you will see this app service after you created something, something like that. And then not sure if it's colon or equal sign. And then the value here, which is this one. So yeah, so this is useful if uh, you, you need to, use, to see something like a URL and be able to use the URL go to your browser and then check if it's already running or not. What else? Uh, connection string or SQL server name. If you want to see the name after it's created, um, this is how you, you know, see it inside your terminal through the output. So it's just, you know, a way for you to, to see uh, some stuff here in your resources. So just a tool. Uh, it doesn't affect actually your resources, the way you provision things in uh, in your cloud. So, uh, what about these providers? Mm -hmm. So, providers again, these are your cloud providers, mm -hmm. and each provider has its own uh, a way or or structure and how you write it. For example, this one in Azure you're required to put these features, even if it's empty. And then here is the uh, Azure credentials for logging into Terraform. Now, uh, of course, you don't wanna show it here, right? I don't wanna show it also here, my, my client ID. So uh, earlier, uh, before, before uh, we started, I already run here the command, right? DF bar, something like that. And then uh, subscription ID, and then put here the keys or subscription ID, client ID in secret, tenant ID here. So that's also what you're gonna do in your uh, hands-on later, if you wanna try it. And you'll find out how to do that. Uh, again, read, read me file. Here, it's already completed. Um, yeah, you can log in. And then this has just recently uh, been added in the uh, Terraform because there's 
um, last month, uh, I think last month, sorry, it's last month or the other month, uh, two months ago, uh, Terraform released the, the version 13. Uh, yep. Um, we have actually five minutes left. Oh, well, five minutes. Yes. Yeah. And mm -hmm. a break, 10 minutes. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. And yeah, so here it is. Anyway, let's move to the next. Variables. What's this variables here? What is this file? Uh, variable is, is to, uh, it's like a parameter. It's not really variable. It's this is. It's this, the naming here is confusing actually. Um, variable is a parameter for, for you to be able to pass something. Okay, like for example, location here. So your location um, will be, for example, West Europe, app service name, my app service. Oops. Yeah, admin login, in admin pass, password, so. But you don't want to do this, you know. Here, in your uh, you should use a, a a secret, you know, in 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 Terraform. So you can do that depending on on your cloud pro provider. Uh, yeah. So we have only uh, five minutes. Ten minutes. Let's sh uh, switch over to the slides. So here's a Terraform Cloud. Uh, Terraform Cloud is an application that helps teams use Terraform together. This is their uh, service. Mm -hmm. You can do this in your own um, uh, cloud provider account, or uh, if you want, you can use the Terraform Cloud. Just for me, it's easier. This is what we used before in the last project. Uh, so yeah, it has automation and collaboration features to empower individuals and small teams, including um, uh, VCS integration, remote operation, state management. Uh, it also creates multiple teams and ensure that team members have the right level of access to the appropriate configurations and can leverage the Sentinel policy. Sentinel policy is, is uh, uh, a rule for you, uh, for for you to, you know, it's like setting a rules which one you can uh, uh, use in your resources or apply or configure. So yeah, it's just a restriction. So you're restricted, for example, to this kind of VM only. Um, this is small. You cannot you cannot upgrade to this kind of VM. You cannot use this uh, this higher uh, resource VMs. So it's just like you know, it's policy. It's, it's a restriction. Uh, that, that's good, actually. So let, what else? Oh, uh, enforcing fine grain. So like I said, enforcing fine grain policy against everything that uh, Terraform Cloud provisions. You can also uh, view cost estimation. So you can preview how much configurations will cost before they are deployed. So a few things here, um, some comparison. So here. Terraform versus Chef. So first of all, Chef is a configuration management tool versus the provisioning tool that Terraform is. Chef is concerned with the installation and management of software on existing servers, while Terraform provisions the servers themselves. In this case, when using a Docker or Packer, Terraform is a better choice than a configuration management tool. What is more, uh, Chef defaults to a mutable infrastructure paradigm leading to hard to diagnose configuration bugs. Mutable meaning you, you update the, the the infrastructure, you know, but in Terraform, you don't update it's just destroy and just spin up another one or create one. So, but Terraform uh, treats every change as the deployment of a new service configuration. Chef also represents a procedural style to code writing and requires running a master server for state storing, as well as agent software on each configurable server. So similarly to Chef, Puppet is also a configuration management tool used to install and manage software on already existing servers. It also requires a master server for storing the infrastructure state as well as the installation of an agent software 
for installing the latest configuration management updates. Uh, Puppet is also uh, four years old than, uh, than uh, Chef. It was released in 2005. However, Puppet has a more declarative style, just like Terraform. So we have another one here, SaltStack. It's a configuration management tool in a declarative style like Terraform. Uh, Ansible, so this is this uh, a popular configuration management. Like Chef represents a procedural style of coding, like the two options above. Uh, uh, it is a configuration uh, management tool and follows immutable infrastructure paradigm. Here it is. The advantage here is the fact that Ansible is represented by a big community with nearly 5K active uh, contributors. It's also highly desirable in the job market. Just like Terraform, Ansible does not require running a master server to store the infrastructure straight. So here's uh, how you use Terraform to deploy all, all the underlying infrastructure including the network topology, let's say uh, VPCs, subnets, uh, root or route tables, data stores. You, you then use Ans uh, Ansible to deploy your apps on top of those servers. Here's an sample of, of how you'd map it. And what else? Uh, Packer here, Packer automates the creation of any type of machine image. It embraces modern configuration management by encouraging you to use automated scripts, install and configure the software within your packet, a Packer made images. Packer is an automated build system to manage the creation of images for containers and virtual machines. And then, yeah, and Docker, if you know Docker, a system for building, distributing, running Docker containers, and containers can be run on Linux and Windows. And here's how you use it, Terraform Packer, use Packer to package your apps as virtual mach uh, machine images. You then use Terraform to deploy servers with this uh, virtual machine uh, images and the rest of your infrastructure, including the network topology, until again, VPCs, raw tables, data stores, and load balancers. And here's a sample diagram of how you would uh, map it. Uh, okay, what about Terraform versus Kubernetes? Both Kubernetes Terraform can help you with orchestration and scalability. Kubernetes uh, deals with Docker containers. So if your application isn't yet containerized, it will require some uh, you know, configuration or preliminary work, whereas Terraform operates on what can be seen as hardware. So it's suited for any kind of workload. And here's how you know they go along together, Terraform Packer, Docker Kubernetes. And another one here, uh, Plumi. It's, it's, uh, it's, like, it's like Terraform. Um, difference is it's, it's using JavaScript, TypeScript, Go, Python, and C Sharp rather than uh, Terraform here. It uses its own language, the HashiCorp configuration language or HCL. And we also have their cloud formation, uh, non open source though uses YAML or JSON, uh, native to AWS. And here is uh, ARM from uh, Azure. So uh, non-open source, YAML or JSON, native to Azure. That's the ARM template. And, uh, and Cloud Deployment Manager of Google Cloud. Uh, so you know, Jinja here. Python or Jinja is a modern and designer friendly templating language or Python modeled after Django's templates. So summary, here I see uh, gives you consistency and consistent configurations, improve uh, scalability, faster deployments, um, less documentation because the scripts replaced it and better traceability. And Terraform, super portability, you know, ease of full stack deployment uh, reference here. So, hold on. Um, so yeah, at Terraform, you have one tool and one language for describing uh, infrastructure for uh, Google Cloud, AWS, OpenStack, and any other cloud. Uh, and actually switching a provider is not a headache anymore. You can have Amazon instances running Kubernetes containers with your workloads and manage the whole system from one tool. And reference Terraform.io, you can go here. 
And uh, yeah, HashiCorp also has some uh, certification. One of them is Terraform Associate. You can add formal industry accepted credentials using you know, their digital badge upon passing a certification exam. A reference here, Auth0 plug, use Terraform to manage your Auth0 configuration. Um, and also there's a, a book, you know, uh, a Terraform up and running. I've read it, uh, I highly recommend this, how to create reusable infrastructure with Terraform modules and you get Terraform, Terraform tips and tricks in, in loops and if statements. And uh, uh, one of the most important things, the pitfalls, how to use Terraform as a team. And yeah, thank you. Thank you very much and we'll be back. <laughs> And we're back. Uh, yeah, um, thank you for waiting. So this is gonna be the, the second part of this uh, Terraform workshop. And how do we do this? Um, the, it, the, 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 this second part will be the, the, the hands-on part, yeah, if you will. Uh, I'd just like you to, to try Terraform, not only listening from me or reading it, but actually by, by doing it. Uh, I would suggest to you to use uh, Auth0 if you don't have any accounts in, in AWS or uh, Google Cloud or, or uh, Azure. Why? Because it's the fastest. You just need to use um, a single sign-on, a single sign-on, like any social media accounts you can use uh, upon uh, signing up or you can use your, your GitHub or your whatever. And yeah, after logging in and signing in, then you're done. And I think we need to do a, a sample of that. So let me open up an incognito here, Let's say out zero. So if you can follow along with me, uh, this is the fastest way I could think of to uh, be able to try uh, a Terraform. So sign up. And yeah, if you have Google account, uh, GitHub or, or Microsoft here, you can try it and let's see, sign up with Google. I have so many here, I don't know what to want to use. Only this one. And yep. So this is fresh. Uh, tenant domain. So tenant domain, next. Uh, company name, um, just personal. Create account. Mm-hmm. And then you're done, hopefully. That's all. So yeah, every, every once in a while they improve their um, uh, signing up forms, the flow. So you can see here. Yeah, so let's zoom in, you can see it. And you have your application here. Client ID and the emails. Uh, template, you can try it and see uh, somewhere here, some welcome email. So this is the default, right? And then after uh, running the Terraform apply uh, CLI or command, uh, you just need to refresh this and then uh, you should be able to see your your own template here. So this is the default and we're just overriding it. So uh, let me open up here the Q&A. And yeah, uh, please don't hesitate to ask me some questions. The link to Auth0 sample or or my GitHub, you can, you know, you don't have to try Auth0 if you don't want to try Auth0 as long as uh, no, you'll be able to do it. Uh, yeah. So 
the URL can uh, is Terraform demo. Again, hold on. And I'm almost there. And I'll just replace this with this one. Yeah, so here it is. And you can uh, try this. Uh, basically, you can just copy and paste the, the, the content of every file. For instance, uh, Auth0 or, or AWS, you can just copy and paste it. Uh, however, if you don't have the, the CLI yet, I think that's uh, something we, have, we need to do here. So you need to go here, Terraform. Um, that I, uh, let's say Terraform CLI download. So you can go straight to Terraform, download Terraform. Here it is. So yeah, um, Terraform downloads that HTML or the terraform.io uh, slash downloads. You'll be redirected here and yeah, you can choose here, whatever OS you're using. Use, uh, if you're using Ubuntu or Mac or Windows, you can use this to download, say here, see here, downloaded, and what else? And brew also, I'm not sure if it's, you can find it here, uh, but there's a, a way to um, easily install it in your Mac OS, you know, without, uh, going here whenever there's a new update and then you want you want to update your Terraform and then download it here. Uh, let's go here, chocolate tea. This for the windows. Um, say Terraform. If you don't um, familiar, if you're not familiar with, with chocolate, it's, it's like a package manager from windows or anything that you can think of uh, in windows like so softwares. I mean, uh, Terraform. So, yeah, you need to install Chocolatey first. And then here, uh, after installing Chocolatey, uh, allowed to install Terraform using this Choco CLI, as you can see here. And if there's an update in Terraform and you want to update Terraform, just choco upgrade Terraform and then you're done. You don't have to come back here in this page and then re-download the, the installer and then, you know. So I would suggest using this as a package manager and Brew also has that Brew, uh, I think it's HashiCorp, let's say HashiCorp, Terraform, tap Terraform. So you know, on Mac, this is uh, an easy way of installing also um, Terraform, just brew install HashiCorp tab uh, here Terraform. So that's the, the pattern, brew install HashiCorp slash tab slash Terraform. Hmm. And upgrading, also simple, brew upgrade HashiCorp slash tab slash uh, Terraform. So they change it, I think last month, they change it to this naming before it's just Terraform. And yeah, so after that, um, after installing this, now you can proceed to uh, this one. This is What zero here? And questions, 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 questions. Let me see questions here. I think it's here. Can you post the links here in the chat? Oh uh, yeah, 
Uh, sorry. Here it is. And the link to uh, Terraform. Yeah, for the, the quick uh, installation, you can go here. Just download it. Or for the chocolatey, here it is, uh, chocolatey. And for uh, Mac users, use this. Mm -hmm. Any questions? And I hope everyone's trying out uh, Terraform. So signing up is easy. Then once you have it, um, you need to get some some a few uh, few things from Auth0. It's so like the client ID, some Any questions here? Mm. Oh, please use the, the chat box if you have questions. Yeah, it's just really simple to sign up here at zero. Uh, again, um, I pick at zero because it's the fastest, fastest to, uh, to create an account. Then Google Cloud Platform, uh, Azure, and AWS, because I think all of them require credit card, and it takes time, you know, to, you know. Uh, bring out your credit card or your you know, credit card from your pocket or from bag and then writing the, I mean, typing the, the card number. So, yeah.
And lastly, in, on, in odd zero, uh, you need to run this in your CLI, uh, I mean, in your uh, terminal, where's it again? Uh, credentials, yeah, this one. Yeah, good thing it's here on my, uh, read me, anyways. Uh, press it again. So yeah, uh, if you're seeing bash, new terminal, uh, you can use this export and then odd zero underscore domain and then uh, your domain and also your odd zero client ID and then client secret. If you don't uh, run this before Terraform or running Terraform in it, it will complain that you're not authenticated and it will not be able to, uh, and yeah, not authenticated at the same time, uh, your Terraform doesn't know where to uh, send the request or which account should be using in order to provision uh, a resource, right? And what else? If you're using Windows, you can try PowerShell. Uh, the counterpart of export is, I think it's env colon. So this is how you would write it. I think I... let's open this up. So. I can upload this, uh, so SSH. Um, let me say bash. Uh, so I think it's env and then here. Something like that. Uh, because export doesn't work uh, on uh, a Windows, right? Except if you have a bash terminal in Windows, if you installed um, a git, you can use it. And client ID and V, so zero client secret, and then same thing. Uh, so this is for PowerShell. Um, in normal CMD or command line on Windows, um, I don't think this is possible. The Windows uh, native command line doesn't do much or doesn't have any functionalities. Let's see. So, save. Yeah, so here it is. This is a uh, Windows version. Uh, so uh, I would recommend PowerShell instead of using the the default uh, command line on Windows. And yeah, if you're also using Linux, export works. Oops. And after running this, now you're allowed to do this command, run this command Terraform in it, Terraform plan just a few uh, commands to remember in it, plan, apply and destroy, or four. And the other one also, validate, which validates uh, your um, syntax or the syntax of your uh, Terraform file. Questions? Mm -hmm. 
or anything that you um, uh, like to know or something that you're um, still confused, getting confused, and which one to run, or anything that's not clear, uh, please let me know. So let's go here. You can also try this uh, Google, uh, Terraform Cloud. Say Terraform Cloud. So this is a uh, HashiCorp's uh, service. There, there's a free tier here and also paid. Uh, let's try this. I'm familiar with the pricing. So yeah, free here. Um, zero dollars here, up to five users is something new. Uh, collaborate on infrastructure as code for Terraform configurations. So these are the pricing. I think this is enough, especially if you're just a few uh, sysadmin that working on, on um, infrastructure. Before there was just me and my senior here, uh, uh, Kubernetes and yeah, just two of us working on a big uh, infrastructure. So how to use this? There's uh, this um, login. Let's find out where's the login here. So this is what? I oh, know, it's Terraform. I couldn't find the login here because normally, uh, here they, I think here it is more. No, I already have an account. Sign in. So here's this is Terraform Cloud. Um, you can freely use it. You just need to create an account using your, say, your, your GitHub. And yeah, um, here, uh, here you can see for workspace name. So workspace, it's it's like a name. So it's like. Uh, for for you to 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 separate a project, you know, be able to separate a project from another, and yeah, for example, here we have Terraform Sandbox, and here I name it Terraform Works uh, Workplace, and here when I'm trying out uh, a Sentinel policy demo uh, five months ago, you see here, and how to create one also new workspace here. And if you have if you have Git GitHub, um, you can use your existing uh, repository or your, or you know your Terraform that you publish to uh, GitHub or sell high here. Let's try this version and here GitHub. And then you can uh, say Terraform. Terraform here. Make sure with this one. Yeah. Then create workspace. And what it does is every time there's a changes in your uh, Terraform code and you push it to GitHub, uh, this will automatically run and deploy uh, the existing, I uh, know, not, not deploy yet because there's, uh, what I call this? Let me show this to you. Like this one, it's gonna ask you to, uh, to apply or not. So there's still a manual here, it's happening. As you can see here, uh, 
there's a, a button here that's gonna just asking you uh, everything looks good, everything is um, uh, fine. Uh, here's our here are the, the list of resources that are gonna be uh, going to be created, and and there's a you know button here like apply. So if you apply, click the apply button, and that will um, uh, let the Terraform send requests and you know provision the resources for you in your own account. So there's also these uh, variables here where you can set uh, some secrets. Gonna stay longer here because there's secrets there. States. So what are states? Is, is state is uh, it's like a, a database of, of, of records of, you know, uh, what has been changed or deployed or, or provision in your uh, uh, resources. So this is downloadable, this is transferable. And, you know, this is something that you don't, you know, you, uh, you don't want to delete. Why? Because you're gonna lose that uh, record. So, you know, of previous uh, uh, updates that you've, you know, you've done in your uh, Terraform uh, resources. Um, yeah, uh, I would also suggest to try this one. Let's just play around. It's uh, it, it's free. And some settings here. Run triggers, notification locking, version control. If you're done, you can delete it. Actually, you don't have to because it's it's free here. and connect to version control. If you have other version control provider, like Bitbucket or GitLab, configure it here. SSH key. To SSH something. Uh, run triggers. Notifications also. And yeah, and version, hopefully this 13 here. So you can also configure your, the version here. So uh, any updates? Uh, how's the odd zero uh, provisioning going on? And uh, yeah, don't forget to uh, ask questions if you, you're getting any errors in your CLI. And And about, let's say, uh, if I can share something. Uh, Terraform uh, examination exam. So uh, 
Yeah, no, no, this is Udemy. Uh, Ashicorp. Cloud. So if you have any plans of uh, taking a Terraform examination, a certification one day, uh, yeah, uh, tips, uh, any tips that I can give? Uh, buy buy a uh, questionnaires, Terraform questionnaires, uh, sample questionnaires. Sorry, uh, there are sample questionnaires or practice questionnaires that you can uh, you can use. Um, yeah, one that I know is uh, from from Udemy, and there's also some uh, uh, Terraform experts uh, who who has websites with, with uh, this uh, certification or question uh, samples. And it'll, it will help you, uh, you know, it will help you uh, know some other technicalities in, in Terraform and, and Sentinels, Sentinel policy. And yeah, you'll be surprised, you know, uh, things that you haven't encountered yet and it's, they're usually they're they're 150 questions, 250 questions of practice. Uh, you just you know search for it in, in Udemy. Um, that's what I use, um, you know, uh, before taking up this uh, HashiCorp Terraform examination certification. And if I can remember questions, there were 70, 100 questions, if I'm not mistaken. And the passing rate is around 70%. Mm. It's a tough exam if you're not prepared. I'd say just uh, take a uh, two week uh, off or or one week, I think one week, two weeks, let's say, you know, one week of preparing for exam, um, doing labs. And there are also a lot of uh, free labs on the web, uh, HashiCorp website. Really, I also use that. Uh, HashiCorp, hold on. Terraform Labs. Yeah, here. Um, yeah, I highly suggest uh, doing this, these labs, you know, and just and spend one week uh, doing the, uh, completing everything here. And then one week of, of taking the practice exams. And then, yeah, that was, I think, four months. I took that exam or certification uh, last December. Or January, February, around that, that month. And yeah, you can see the badge is something like this. I posted it on my website. It's here. This is the Terraform badge. And yeah, you're gonna you uh, you get it from this badge from uh, your acclaim. And here it is. Uh, yeah, no, I take it June. Uh, June. So as far as June, yeah. Wasn't that uh, uh, wasn't that long? So, any questions? Uh, yeah, yes, there's a question.
hello, uh, Marlis. Uh, yes. Do you see any questions? I mean, uh, I'm looking at the right chat here, right? Yes. And I'm looking at chat. Yeah. So. Question. I, I think they're they're just very focused on their on their mm -hmm. connectivity and yeah. yeah. Everyone, if you have questions, don't be shy. Just raise your hand or uh, unmute yourself. So our speaker, Devlin, will be assisting you further. If you are having any, you know, uh, some difficulties, making sure that everything is okay on your end. So please chat. Please send us a message in the chat at least something like we're good i'm good everything is okay so that we know that you are there since this is a virtual event and it's very challenging right not seeing everyone on in the zoom right now but yeah hopefully we can read some messages here from our attendees that they're doing okay if you have from james i'm good everything uh, is okay perfect thanks very much for the yeah. mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking of any uh, suggestion or tips that I, uh, advice that I could give. Uh, yeah, uh, you know what? I, I took the uh, ex the certification because uh, that was uh, one month ahead of, of, of my my my, uh, my project. Uh, was given a test to to help uh, assist, uh, assist admin. In a, in a Norwegian uh, government agency, and I had I think three weeks to to learn Terraform, and I'd say the the certification helped me a lot. So yeah, with, in, within that three weeks, uh, I'm learning Terraform, and decided to also uh, uh, took the uh, take the, the the certification. Because I know it's gonna help me, and it will force me to dig deeper into its Terraform, and see uh, the, all the capabilities of Terraform, and and uh, you know gotchas, meaning what not to do and what to do in Terraform, and you know it helped me prepare for the, the real project that was given to, um, to me by my manager, because. Yeah, this is it was a, a weird uh, experience because I'm, I'm a full stack developer, and they they put me in this project uh, because they also uh, 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 I also had this this experience in, in uh, as a being a sys admin, but that was was really a long time ago before I shifted to to full stack development uh, to software engineering and. Uh, have only a little uh, knowledge in, in networking, uh, but the, my manager has had no choice because he couldn't find anyone that has an experience. I mean, in in infrastructure, but I had experience of what, although it was a long time ago, and it's giving me a, a three three week notice before uh, you know before uh, the. Uh, before going to this this office of you know in to work, but anyways, yeah. Uh, again, it it helped me a lot here to uh, to try Terraform and eventually uh, pass this before I get to work to you know a real uh, uh, world scenario in, in in doing this infrastructure as code and you know an, an automate uh, automation way of provisioning resources. Yeah, if you have that kind of similar, uh, uh, or if you will have that kind of similar uh, experience, um, I mean, if your manager assigns you to, to work on this uh, infrastructure as code, uh, yeah, I advise you know, this uh, certification. It's going to force you to to uh, to know Terraform, and you'll you'll you'll, you'll uh, be confident enough to to you know start working in a real project once you pass this because you, you know where, where it, can they get uh, that one again uh the terraform examination uh here hashi corpse infrastructure automation certification it's not only terraform it's also for uh 
other products of HashiCorp, like console and I think here's other certification, Vault, yeah, Vault and console. Console is for the identity, if I'm mistaken, and Vault is for, you know, it's like a, a key vault for, for certificates or, or well, yeah, using certificates and, you know, hiding it in, in, a, in a best practice manner or ways. Maybe we can get that link on the chat. Oh yeah, definitely. And while you're doing that, we are on time. So that's perfect. And we have a message here from Joey. And he said, I was able to run the Terraform, the AWS demo successfully. This was my first time using Terraform and it was fairly easy to follow along. Great work. Oh, thank you. Thank you uh, for letting me know that it worked. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, did, right. did you, yeah, I'll ask, uh, I have a question to, to jo, Joey though. Uh, did you encounter any problems or error? Hopefully you still there. <laughs> you can actually unmute if you want to answer verbally. And while waiting for his response, the link for the certification is on the chat right now. It's www.hashicorp.com certification Terraform Associate. And for the others, if you don't have any questions or if you think of any questions after this session, where can they reach you? Uh, you can reach me here. My, this is my Twitter handle. Oh, hold on, let me share it again. Uh, yeah, at Devlin Dudala on Twitter. Uh, yeah, you can send me a DM uh, if anything you want to know about uh, the uh, about Terraform and the certification process, and um, yeah, resources to review or to to read or to try in order to pass it. Because uh, yeah, it's it's it's, it's not a a, a, uh, a cheap uh, certification. It's kind of expensive. I think it's seventy dollars around. Yeah, so better pass it in just one try. <laughs> and say. <laughs>